Moshi Moshi Mime Gamers and welcome back to Withering Waves. Forbidden memories of the past laid buried in ashes and ruins, the ominous factual star beacon heading on tall secrets within its shadows, secrets that still burns within a central heart. Today we are going to the cavern. Off camera, see this lady guys, I picked her for a free 5 star. I should have shown you guys that I got her, but I didn't do it anyways. I was gonna beat this big gums ass. Move! I need that crystal! Come here, absorb your ass to me. And collect this one. Now let's head to the cabin that's down there. Oh, those glowing wood. Okay, I remember walking here before earlier. Because we have to go on the ground next. We just gotta be careful from going down. Whee! I can't believe it. There is such a big opening down here. How odd. This place should have been soaked in water, but everything is dry here. Even the vegetation is thriving. Hmm. Did Scar do this? Given his powers, it doesn't seem too hard for him. Hmm, I'm getting chills going downhill. Hey, boy. <sighs> Alright, now we're gonna head down. Okay, so I did get new earphones a few days ago, if you guys haven't noticed. I can now hear the voices clearly. Yay! Now we'll find the enemy, aren't we? That's, what I'm, that's my guessing. That tree. It's stunning. It's almost eerily enchanting. Please, save us! Are you trying to tell us about something hidden here? Are you? Yes, yeah, show us. I mean, I could kill you right now, but yeah. Okay, keep going. Lead us the way. Keep going any faster. You're flying very slowly. Where did it go? I am losing my patience. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, is that a diary? A diary? Guess we're reading it off the bat. June 19. Days a strange man come to our village. He said I can call him my brother. If I don't mind, he was really friendly, but for some reason, he felt different from the people in my village. He seems to know a lot about me, and he even said we were as the same kid. He told me a really strange fairy tale. The ending of the fairy tale was kind of scary, but reality was even scarier, he said. He was asked, what would you do if you were a little back limb lamp? Before I could think of a reply, he had already left for the sympathetic. You can see you next time. I told your father about it, but he said no one liked to have ever visited our village. Who could it be? July 20th? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Shocked water stains. If only I were so weak, I could dive away those tasty discords if Sissy didn't have to protect me. There must be a way. Father said I could really pick the figures of tasty discord and humans. Sissy, I'm so sorry you look like this now. It is only to worry. I'll do everything I can to turn to you what you were before. I know you can still heal me. Father promised me he surely found a way to help. December 17th. It's been three months since the incident. Father doesn't seem to remember I'm still keeping a diary. He gave a notebook to me, but if he found that I've been writing about anything, he'd be so mad. He ordered me to do what he says, use my power to recombine frequencies of taxi discord. But if anyone finds out about the truth, that sissy, who went missing, actually died trying to attack me, and then I turn her into a horrifying chase discord, they will see me as a monster. I'll be banished and no one will ever understand or upset me of what I can do. No one except him. But with the dead, we could become back to frequent manipulation. And if so, what will happen to those sad soul trapped inside their new bodies? I really don't know. February 8th. Every day, I feel more and more unease. The people in the village are disappearing in those trace discord fathers has brought back. I can shake the feeling that something is very one, but I am trapped, like a moth to a flame, unable to escape like a dark path. I don't know what my father did. I must have been something terrible for my attention and unease here. I am not allowed outside anymore. When I asked why, he just pushed it off. If it price for my wish to come true, it's more bloodshed, i.e. No date. The villagers have so at our house. They must have learned about all the murders. And know what they call me now? Or oh, perhaps my father too. At this point, what difference does it make? After all that happened? Can someone come to save me? And I must pay the price for the cursed village. If there was a god, I hope they are. Save my village. At the end of the last diary entry, I see the message in another handwriting. It seems you are the lucky one. Hmm, a diary was read. Interesting. 
That girl just wanted to save her village, but those sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Oh, you see your nipples are getting hard? I mean, yeah, sure. Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment, and despair. And as I read the diary, I could feel the intense sorrow and longing of its owner. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end? My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I understand. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again, but... I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. I'm with you. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here, and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Yes, let's go back. Together. Holding my hand? Also, I saw something- Oh, okay, I should've ended there. Mmm, I should've ended there. That was like so short if you ask me. Can you build XP to increase unit levels or does unlock more quests in gameplay? You can quickly obtain unit XPs through the following way. 1. Complete the activity quest 2. Consume wave plates 3. Complete version quest 4. Open text and click gameplay in the overworld Guidebook recommended for your quest level? I already did this like off camera, you don't have to tell me twice Let me go You guys do your job, I'll just kill these guys Because they're blocking something I need To upgrade to my world adventure Well, adventure when you call it Okay Summon the wolf Woohoo you give me this, me and you give me this. You have to do. You need help. You do. Might as well just go and do anyways. You guys are not even there, so subbing. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Campaign story quest. Am I right? Oh uh, yeah, right. I looked at you. Do a campaign story quest here. Once I unlocked, uh, which one? In the meantime, let's do the main quest. I'll do the companion quest like later. Like for you series. How did it go? Anyone hurt? Let me check on you. Phew. You're still in one piece. Of course I am! You're overreacting. Okay, okay. Anything new about the tokens? Uh yeah, you told Kulchia of the findings of the disconnecting headlands and Chisi's village. So those fracks that his goons are here in Jinjo now? Things are more serious than I thought. I wonder what they are up to. Beats me. I've only ran into some bozos before. Those wackos are hell bent on making their own resonators. Said there's no right or wrong when it comes to resonance powers, and everyone should have the right to them. They use mechanical manipulation to integrate parts of tacit discords into human bodies, seeking power with such gruesome acts. I cannot bring myself to understand them. That scar guy you mentioned sounds like he's on a whole other level. How did the fight go? He... um... It seems he didn't intend to kill us. I would even say he was pulling his punches. I don't know what he wants from us. But Madam Magistrate may have intended to hint something by letting us run into him. I still can't wrap my head around what happened in that village. I went over the files. That case is ancient. It was dealt with and archived way before our current magistrate took office. What happened to the village in the end? Don't worry. The crooks were brought to justice and most of the villagers were relocated to new settlements. But I didn't find anything in the files about that little girl you mentioned. So Scar really did take her away. Maybe the fantasies has planned to use her for something. Hmm. If only we could capture him. Uh, I'm 
so lost. Why did Madam Magistrate point you to Chichi Village anyway? What did she want to tell you with that? And that Scar went there to tamper with the site and mislead you with fake clues. Or maybe it's the other way around. <sighs> you mean the Fraxidus was planning to tell you something about what had happened in that village? Then our Magistrate intercepted by leading you there before they could? Hmm. Sky wanted to preach his ideals to me. Hmm. Madam Magistrate knew they were going to lure you to the village. And she knew they weren't planning to kill you. Her token was a warning that the Fraxidus had their eyes on you. Hmm. Uh, we wouldn't be in real danger. How so? Hmm. Joss is waiting in the hospital, remember? You mean she's got someone looking out for you? Or maybe she prepared other needs of protection? Hmm. And vice versa, since the white has made her move. Uh, I don't think I follow. Nothing in particular. The legendary figure who changed Jinjo's history? A looming war with the resurrecting Thronodian. And the Fraxidus acting in the shadows. If all of these have something to do with your true identity, then... Who exactly are you? Hmm. Uh, I'm hoping Madame Mosin has the answers. Come to think of it, the sundial's the last token we need to work out. Mr. Mortify said it's an intricate puzzle box. Madame Magistrate might have hid a real message inside. Hmm. Uh, we learned about the direction in Sashi Village. Yes, it's the south, represented by the Vanillian bird. One of the four symbols. Now we have the Shi Chen of Wei and Vermilion Bird. We should be able to solve the puzzle. Hmm, yes. So, Rover, you gonna try it now? Symbols on the larger disc represent time. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be. So, the Sitch of Wei? It's working. And now, symbols on the smaller disc represent direction. And we need to align the correct symbol with this pointer. It should be... We have Teal Long of the East. White Tiger of the West. Vermilion Bird of the South. And Black Tortoise of the North. According to the clues we've gathered, it should be... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. White Tigers of the West. Hmm. It's not working. No. I guess it's not the White Tiger. Then it's the bottom one. The bird. Wow, you really solved it! Hey, look at that. So, this is the last message the Magistrate has for me. This is the location of Jehovah's Grand Library. Wait, I don't think it's something we're allowed to see. Quick, Yang Yang! We should turn around! Uh... We saw this together. Come on! Just go ahead and see what's written inside. Oh, come on! Uh, I guess I'll just lock yourself then. It's about the Grand Library. I see. The Grand Libraries in Huanglong are renowned for their vast databases, holding valuable information about the regions they represent. Their exact locations are kept confidential, but it is believed they hold answers to all questions one could ask. The Grand Libraries are vital for Huanglong's data security, managed by the Regional Sentinels, Accessible only to the magistrates. They're rarely open to the public. Kind of like a big piggy bank inside the city hall, data wise. Yes, you will find the most comprehensive and accurate information there. Rover, if you need to visit the Grand Library in Jinjo to find out who you are, I think it suggests two things. First, there is a strong link between your past and Jinjo's history. Second, you must be a really significant person. So you're super important to Jinjo, 
maybe even all of Huang Long. Wow. I think we stumbled upon a real big shot when we didn't even know it. What's the matter, Rover? Something wrong with the sundial? Is the city hall at the center of Jingo? It is Jenjo's political center, and it's also located at the city center, if that's what you mean. The city hall was built when Jinjo was established. It's a popular landmark for locals giving directions. Why do you ask, Rover? Hmm. Hmm. I need to go somewhere on my own. See? What did I say? Covert ops. Real confidential stuff going on. <sighs> Come on, Yang Yang. It's just a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Madam Magistrate. What's the worst that could happen? Relax, relax. Hmm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Hey, are you really trying to stress her out? I guess you're right. Still, please be careful. We'll be waiting for you. Ah, oh, my girls. Alright, so we got another acting going on here in the ground of the library. And we're gonna go up there. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna go grapple all the way. Whee! Woohoo! This is my favorite thing about this game. Grappling! Whee! I hope I don't fall! Okay, that was fast. Very real. You don't go down. For hers, it does. And what about. Oh, wait a minute. How come only hers doesn't go up? Is her outfit that upheld? Maybe this will bounce here in my eyes. So, are you telling me that... My guess is probably this one. With the vessel. I oh, heard low growing noises. Hey, we found it. Ooh, so glowy. Enter the Grand Library. Jinghose is home to one of Harlong's unique therapy center, managed by the Central and controlled by the Jinghose Magistrate. It uses time as an index and implicitly records information related to the city establishment, making it a capacitive and objective resource. The class books of Jinghose stored in City Hall hold important data collected since ancient times. The Vessel's database holds answers in any question on may have about Hanglo's history. As I expected. That must be the entrance to the database. Open the door. Oh, wait, but I'm level 40 here, so thankfully my teammates are level 40 already. While I was grinding off camera. Is this like a domain I'm walking to? That's what it looks like. Part of the building is submerged. I should be able to find the hidden path underwater. It seems I have a puzzle to solve. Guess I'll check on the mechanism in the middle first. Yeah. What is this? Some instrumental thing? It looks like it's some, some DJ thing. Get a fire tone in the turn. The bell shall guide your path. Five candles in the burn tone. The artist shall be unmasked. The control panel here does look like a musical instrument, but five music notes seem to be missing. So to gain access to the database, I will need to recover the five missing notes stored on those sono discs. What is that sound coming from behind the symphodi? Yeah, look at that. Probably this one. Listen. This must be one of the missing notes. Now, how do I connect it with the symphony? Probably the broken one or this one. That's one. Part of the score holder just lit up, as I expected. The drum over there seems to have unlocked. The bell just raised out of the water. So that's what it meant by having the bells guide my path. Ooh. Now, um. Yeah, you should fist, lady. Like, open! Door! Gate! There should be chests. Is there any chests around here? Up. I must have solved the first puzzle. It seems I will need to look for more sono discs in there. Yeah, probably around here. Hmm, no chests around. I suspect it to be like enemies chest around. Discords. Inside the city hall. No, they're not real. They must be some kind of digital simulation. It seems they are the guards here. Interesting. Interesting how I'm not hearing sirens, despite having destroyed every one of them, apart from the simulated tacit discords. Multiply 54 with 43 of the fingers you seek. Funnels of West Father of is beyond reach. I suppose it's telling me where I can find the next sono disc. I think it mentioned the direction. 
What does that last sentence mean, that sound? It's coming from the west. Mm, left side. Left side. We found another one. This is the second Sano disc. I should bring it to the Symphodi. Open. Ah, uh, we're in suckles. <laughs> With that one. Yeah, jump in. Alright. Alright. Oh, Entrance. Number two. Ooh, it's shocked. Yeah, what else to explore? Okay. I guess if I wanted to, but nah, the I'm good. level just dropped again. There's another two drums. One in the east, and another in the west. I may find more sono discs down there. Yeah. Um, okay, let's start with heal. Ooh, and then fly. Now, activate. So this is the right way to go. Yeah. Now, I'm being fed just enough information to work out the puzzle. This does look like Miss Magistrate's doing. Yeah, fist it. Uh, is it? Oh, I gotta do it slow. I can go fast on this one. There you go. Mm, but that door really opened. Okay. The drum on the other side is unlocked. Guess I'll go check on it before I leave. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. This is like an elevator. The music I just heard. It must be the sono disc. Look, hello. Where's the sono disc? Oh, this one. Here it is. Time to deal with the guards. Again, the weak asses. And boom! Considering how I just took yeah. out all those guards, <laughs> this poison like I use my think I use my hands my correct, to smack them. The magistrate may have other plans for me. Anyway, I'll keep going. The dialogue should go up, not just keep going because it doesn't show everything. I retrieve the third sono disc. Time to head back. Open sesame. <gasps> Door chest. What Beautiful. Be this time? I don't know a sex toy. Ooh, going up. All right. Another platform. Below. The bells will lead my path. Huh. I'll go work out the passageways. But this is broken. Oh wait, no mind. Yeah, turn. No. Hit again. Not that way. This way. Your yeah, dicks. Hmm. Hey, chest around. No chest around. The this elevator. Feeling. I'm being watched. <gasps> Must be another sono disc. You said a feeling of being watched again. Go down carefully. Look at them jiggle. This is the fourth missing note. Almost there. Activate. Hmm, there's only one chest you so far, unless there's more I'm missing. Could be mistaken. Color green. Hey, look, it's down there. It disappeared completely. Okay. And now the water is all gone. One last note to go. All the way down. Whee! Mm. It's being guarded. This is the last one. They've prepared quite the welcome for me. Okay, switch enemies. Switch people. Wolfie! I died twice, never mind. Yeah, I'm too strong. Who next? Oh, big boy. You gotta fist you, will hide! You're weak with those fists, boy! I attack that ass of yours. You are down. Give me a spanking of a lifetime. You can't get up. Stay down, bitch. I said stay down. Down, I say down. Okay. <laughs> I have the last sauna disc ready. Time to go back to the Symphony. Yeah, hold up. Before we move on, let me check over here. Is there any chest on here? I mean, I doubt there's any, so... I'm gonna go ahead and just go this way then. 
now. Let's just head up the elevator. Now, here's what's funny. If I'm if I'm this one, they don't go up unless I must. Damn, they don't go up. But these two, I mean, they're out of open compared to hers being covered up. It seems kind of funny. Go stairs, the foot down. Ooh, activate. Yeah, thanks. Are you testing me? Who I am? Yellow. Okay. Now we are heading up. Now I should have access to the database. Oh yeah, database time. Ooh, feeling so warm in here. Okay, open the gate. Anyone here? Any? Just around? I don't think so. So this is the Grand Library. I'm not seeing anyone here. I guess the Magistrate is yet to arrive. Well, it wouldn't hurt to browse the archives for a bit as I wait for her to show up. I guess? Unless she walks in already. Thank you for leading the way, Rover. What a magnificent place to set foot in. Extensive oh, you really follow me. Positive. Oh, how I want to carve the place inside out and blow it all to shreds. Huh. Thought you'd seem a bit more surprised. I wonder why. Hey! <laughs> You've laid a trap for me. Uh, I sickly contact them. Damn, so many dragons. <laughs> Bit your arm. Interesting. Do you really think you can trap me here? You will not escape. What a shame I can't stay and play with you a bit longer. Till we meet again, dear friends. You're not going anywhere. Oh, are we following him? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I'm going alone on you. I could shoot five from you. Oh, you're coming close to me. I could do this to you. Where'd you go? Where you? Summon Wolf? Yeah. Amazing. Die, dodge. Guess I didn't. This again. Oh, look at that. You got your shield up and ready, huh? Oh, okay. Okay, hers could break the shield fast when I do that. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I dodged that one. Fist versus the legs. Now summon! Oh yeah, like that one. Ice and fire! What are you doing? I die, dodge. Ah! Help me! Don't just stand there, Pocky! Attack! Okay, key swing. I have shield. Now what you gonna do? Now summon! Then you summon a dildo to his face? <laughs> Very funny. Okay, switch back to this. Ooh, yes, I dodged that one. And Summon Wolf! Gotta watch my HP. Dodge again. Now do this. Yeah, doing so good. Now fist you! Wind the dick! Now he's swinging. You see him exhausted the loop. But watch your movements. Couldn't stop on him. Okay, keep attacking. Missed. And fist you! You better go down. Where are you going? Nope, you missed. Gotta wait until I get to number one to go up. Wolfie! Oh yeah. Now finish this! 
With the boom boom booms! That's right! Took you down. Took, took like a few minutes to beat your ass. No, where did you take me? What is the- Oh, that's your other form, huh? Okay, guess we're going to round two in this one. Yes, we are! Your prey, huh? Now it's just the two of us. Still away that irrational anger of yours. Die, dodge. I just have a friendly reminder for you. Seeing is not always believing. Why are you so sure they told you the truth? I'm oh, coughing. Hold on. Do I have something? Lee, don't make no 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 no. Ah! Let me go! Let me go! Let me go! I'm about to die. No, 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 no. Okay. Die! Okay, she heals. She has healing ability. That's good. I have a heal, that's good. You miss! Oh, not that one. Okay, switch. And take the wind! Yeah, amazing! And take the Kai! And take the wolf! I'm just too great. And summon. Didn't do, didn't do a lot though. You trying to kill my pokey? You can't do. Oh no, you're attacking me now. An oversight. Hit that one, not me. Oh no, switching, switching. Hey, what you doing now? We're trying to make you so bigger. Oh god, is this part? Oh, it is. Oh, you trapped me in there! I'm still alive, bitch! What are you coming here for? Oh, you disappeared! Oh, hey, what up? Summon! And you can do it again at the same time. It's like I think the demon heal. Keep attacking this one. Okay, summon him, beauty. You need it too. Summon the wolf. Okay, you better go down, dude. You better go down with a big bang to your head or the ass. You cannot fuck me. <laughs> oh, what now? So you oh, never mind. Was following you all along, huh? My Elysium only breaks under coordinated attacks from both sides. I can never get rid of all these. Pesky little helpers around you, can I? So you've joined hands against me with Miss Magistrate here. It does hurt my feelings, you know? You're always so, so popular. Are you all right, Rover? I'm fine. Of course he is. How could I ever have the heart to hurt him? Consider my moment of failure a gift of sincerity, Rover. I trust you haven't forgotten our conversation earlier. Choose me. I'll tell you everything you want. I know everything. Huh. I see. So she made the move before I could and told you all of it already. Then as the winners, would you be so kind as to tell me how you set me up? 
Why? Is there a point of telling you? Oh, we figured it out already. First meeting. Okay. Now I have retrieved the magistrate's message for me from the puzzle box. But it only points me to the Grand Library. There's no meeting time. There's something. I've solved the puzzle. The discs have been rotated, and the two symbols are now glowing. With this glowing light, a shadow is cast onto two other symbols. The black tortoise of the north, north to the city hall. And the time reads, the Sitchin of Cho, and the wee hours of the morning. Okay. She's so beautiful. It's been three days. We both made it on time. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Jinshi. It brings me great joy to see you, Rover. Hmm. Hmm. I uh, did this something happened. An emergency forced me to leave, and I only had the time to prepare some tokens for you. Please, pardon my lack of hospitality. Hmm. Um, does the emergency have something to do with your scent health? Yes. The sentinel of Jinjo is currently absent. Aren't they supposed to stay in the domains? Correct. The Sentinel's guide and guard humanity is a symbol of our civilization. When a region's Sentinel goes absent, chaos is bound to ensue. As this news could lead to civil unrest, please keep it a secret. Jinjo's Sentinel Jue is being held captive by the Fraxidus. I had to postpone our meeting and put all my effort into finding its whereabouts. I heard you came with a story with the Sentinel? Yes. Our thoughts are connected, to a certain degree. I can sense his memories, feelings, and surroundings, though not very clearly. Have you found it yet? Unfortunately, I haven't. I can feel Jue is in danger. The good news is, I have figured out the culprit behind all of this. Is this guy? Precisely. The Fraxidus plans to advance another lament and cause disasters worldwide. Overseer Scar had several objectives upon infiltrating Jinjo. To track you down, to test your strengths, and to make you join their cause. To abduct Jue and to resurrect the Thrinodian in advance. Why me? They must have discovered your value, likely from one of Jue's prophecies. If you join them, They'll gain significant power. Should you refuse to join, the Fraxidus will likely want to eliminate you, so you don't get in their way. I have a plan to apprehend Scar. Once we capture him, the Fraxidus won't be that much of a threat to you for the time being. If you are willing to lend us a hand, I will ensure your safety during our cooperation. Hmm. Call me in. Thank you for your trust, Rover. Speaking of which, you seem to have already gathered a lot from the tokens. Hmm. Um, let's see. Um The circle pill points to past epidemic and disasters. Impressive, Rover. And I learned more about my daddy as I disappeared the tokens. The threat Jinjo is facing is far worse than meets the eye. One of the Thrinodians will soon be reawakened. What are the Demodobians? They are the enemies of human civilizations. Born from the dark side of our collective consciousness. We must defeat them to protect all of humanity. We have been doing our best to prevent the disaster. But the Fraxidus is accelerating the Thrinodians' revival. And it has something to do with me, yes? Indeed. 
That's a cool, but same thing. Its echo with your bare hands. It is the tacit discord that embodies the concept of warfare. Resentment of the fallen, fright of the ignoble, those are the emotions that lay ground for its birth. The crownless is a tacit discord that possesses powers from the reviving Trinodian. Jinjo is a border city with an unbreakable will and a strong spirit of resistance. You, however, you were able to defeat and absorb a Trinodian related tacit discord with your bare hands and resonate with other TDs. Meanwhile, Huang Long's records mention a hero with similar powers who saved our nation during the Trinodian War. He is mentioned in literature dating back to Jinjo's establishment. To uncover your true identity, this could be a helpful lead to pursue. You believe that Puss and I could be related in some way? Yes, based on my own deduction and the prophecies of Jue. Jue in the Georgies of Spirits. You mean the unfinished statue of Jue? Hmm. I know something when I saw it. I see. Do you mind letting me know what you remembered? Since it's related to our sentinel, I might be able to help. Yeah. You told Junshi about all the bits and pieces of memories you could remember. Rover. The memories of which you speak. Yes, nothing, anything worth nothing about them. As I mentioned earlier, I can resonate with Jue, our sentinel. Your recollections, they align with what I've witnessed in Jue's memories. Yes, I do remember seeing something similar. I believe it had truly happened in the past. Mm, in other words... In other words... You may be the person mentioned in our records. The unwavering presence by our sentinel's side. Bonded by an unbreakable trust. I don't reckon Renesit can live that long. Resonators tend to live a longer lifespan. But it is indeed unprecedented to live hundreds of years without any sign of aging. So many mysteries about you remain unsolved. And your age is just one of the unknowns. Hmm... And how do I end up losing my memories? Sorry, but I don't know. Jue's last piece of information pointed to the Northfall Barrens, where you should find the Thrinodian. I pray you will find your answers there. A Thrinodian is resurrecting, and our nation is in grave danger. This reminds me of the Thrinodian War all too much. Perhaps... This has something to do with your mysterious appearance in Jinjo. You mean I should have to attack Jinjo like the historical hero did? Not really. I don't plan to believe in a hero showing up out of nowhere and protecting us. I am just presenting whatever lead I have about your past. As I know it is troubling you, I want to help you. And that is all there is to it. Thank you for considering lending us a hand. Your help is much appreciated. But please, do not feel obligated because of the information I shared. They are my people, and the responsibility to keep them safe should fall on no one else but my own shoulders. I am saying this because I have faith in my abilities, and even more so in the bravery of Jinjo's soldiers and our people. You deserve to make your own decision about this after uncovering your true identity. I appreciate everything you've done for us. During the past few days, and perhaps even longer ago. Once it all settles, I am ready to accommodate and assist in whatever future decision you make. You can leave Jinjo or the entire Huang Long if you wish. If you ever need me again, you need only ask. Let's keep this a secret between the two of us. How does that sound? Joy? Secret about what, you sucking my dick? Scar. You are now under arrest for committing multiple felonies in Kuang Long. Do you have anything to say? What do I want to say, huh? While I'd love to tell you another story, I guess that's not what you want to hear. I could be mistaken. Is that, um, Samples VA? Let's cut to the chase. It sounds familiar, but it could be someone else. I'm getting bored already. I could be mistaken. Very well. 
You will answer only our questions from now on. Just done with me. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Okay, top to bottom, let's go. Why did you kidnap Jue? A sentinel such as Jue can predict and correct future events. It gets in our way of achieving our sublime vision. We merely wanted to topple the set future built on lies and take control of our own destiny. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? Next, why are you so obsessed with revealing the Dwinodinia? The Thrinodians. Oh, I said one. Some of these wordings are a little difficult to see. Together, they will bring us the promised true lament. And we will embrace the new world that is bound to come. Sure, why not? What do you want to know? What on earth are we always What the fuck is the lament? What is the lament? Disaster? Curse? Some kind of punishment? <laughs> People only see the surface. The lament brings death, destruction, and countless reverberations reverberations that will be reflected overlapped and interwoven during the lament they will be our salvation the only path to a new life form and a new civilization sure why not what do you want to know why are you following me our goal has always been the same we want you want you to join us <laughs> why me forces battle over you causing all this strife and yet you remain unaware of your own worth are you really that naive or are you just dense whatever our interest in you is not affected by such trivial matters. Sure, why not? That's it. What I'm do done. You, know? you kidnapped Jue and revived the Thrinodian, accelerating the next lament. This is proof enough that you are the enemy of Jinjo and all humanity. Stop dreaming you can force Rover to join you. He is our honored guest, and I will not allow any harm to come his way. <laughs> How confident you sound. As the Thrinodian's resurrection approaches, Jinjo is barely holding on. How much longer do you think you can keep up this facade? Thank you for your concern. We have crushed your schemes once, and we can do it again. I have one last question for you. Abducting Jue, stalking Rover, and setting up an ambush in Chicha Village. You couldn't have accomplished that all on your own, unless... Unless I'm not the only overseer in Jinjo, right? <laughs> I have answered all your questions with full honesty. I don't mind you knowing because it won't make any difference. You can try to stop us with all you have. But it's too late to change the course of history. Now, I have one question for you. You seem convinced we caused the disappearance of Jue. What if I told you there was more to it? Would you be curious? About Jue? What else do you know? Come closer and I'll tell you, Madam Magistrate. It's a secret for your ears only. How dare you! Madam Magistrate, I do... You got nice titties. Like the size of them. No. It can't be. <laughs> I was thinking about part. Anyways, what now? Shocked, aren't you? But there's more. What if I told you your sentinel had made this prophecy a long, long time ago? Your all-seeing sentinel abandons you now, of all times. Need I say more? We're merely adding a touch of extra fuel to the fire that will soon consume all. Rover, care for a wager? I know you've been searching for answers about your past, and 
I've got news for you. Duh, what? Watch out! You are one of us, the Black Lambs, and you have been chosen to join us, ushering in the new world. Once you discover what you really are, you will come to us with no hesitation. Boy, evil bow. The Fraxidus awaits your arrival with open arms. And I look forward to that day in sincere anticipation. <laughs> and she just has put it like, shut the fuck up! Jaw, Scar is put to jail. This boy, trying to make us go join you? <laughs> what does Scar tell you? Sorry, Rover. What he mentioned about our sentinel is highly sensitive. I cannot disclose it yet. Not before verifying it myself. Is it a ploy to create distrust among us? Or... <sighs> I must first find our sentinel to uncover the truth. How important is Ju to Jinzhou? Jue is the guardian sentinel of Jinzhou. It is responsible for assisting Jinzhou's magistrate in administrative affairs. While I am the final decision maker, without the assistance of Jue, I cannot guarantee I am always making the best choices for my people. You seem to be doing well in, on your own. <laughs> Thank you. I am glad you think so. Jue can predict the future. And up to this point, every one of its prophecies have been proven true. While justice may not be universally agreed upon, its decisions have consistently served the best interests of Huang Long. Hmm, perhaps it tends to let you make your own decisions. For that, I suppose we will have to talk to it in person to find out. In addition, Rover, Jue once told me to deliver a message to you, to the Awakened One. When raindrops fall upstream, please head to the Northfall Barrens and seek General Jian. Of the Midnight Rangers. Hmm. So I need to find the General Jian. I suppose so. General Jian is currently battling another TD outbreak in the Northfall Barrens, which will also serve as our front line against the Thranodian. But the ongoing war has made it a very dangerous place to go. Since you won't need to go there right now, not until when the raindrops fall upstream. I know you're here for clues about your true identity. And I don't want you to leave the city empty-handed. Have you heard about the Black Shores, Rover? It's an organization shrouded in mystery. With a secretive membership process, and members who usually keep their identities hidden. Upon your awakening, one of their members discreetly contacted me to gather information about you. But please don't worry. The Black Shores developed a special lament prediction system and has established partnerships with countries worldwide. While operating in secrecy, they are not an extremist group like the Fraxidus. They have been monitoring the situation in Jinjo to provide assistance when needed. Thanks to their extra help, my meeting with you went smoothly. Mm, this nice. This bright bloom is their symbol. The Black Shores members usually wear it on their person. Hmm, they show a lot of people keeping an eye on me. Rover, after the recent series of events, I trust you have gained a general idea of who you might have been. Before you fell into that deep slumber, you likely played a significant role in important historical events. Shaping the course of history in some way. Ultimately, I suppose it is up to you to discover the final definitive answer for yourself. This photo is yours to keep. I will return with Jue shortly, and the Black Shores may be worth your try during this time. Okay. So what is this? With the dragon? Rover, are you alright? Uh, uh, yeah, I was just remembering the Dragon Ball Z god I was looking at. I was looking at the Dragon Ball Z dragon. You're staring down at me! I saw something. I was wearing the black bloom. I see. 
The Black Shores must have a deep connection to your past. Since you are likely being closely monitored by the Fraxidus now, I suggest keeping an eye out for the Black Shore members. They could prove to be your valuable allies. I'll do my best to find Jue and tell you everything I learned from it once I return. This is my promise. I'm counting on you. Yes. Please leave it to me. Sanhua. Yes, Madam Magistrate. I will be going on a temporary leave. During my absence, please help me handle my responsibilities in Jinzhou. Understood. Should I continue protecting that rover? No need. Both Chan Li and I will be away, and there will be more than enough paperwork for you to handle. Is Lady Chong Li leaving for the capital? Please pardon my intrusion, but he just faced an ambush in the Central Plains. What if... Regarding that incident, we tried to warn him about the Fraxidus, but they were more cunning than we thought. If he runs into another powerful enemy like Scar, he'll eventually have to confront them on his own. Sanhua, you can place more trust in Rover and me. Understood. I will. My lady, no matter what happens, my sword is always yours. What's going on? Both the interrogation and my appointed meeting with Rover have already finished. Scar only needed the two of you as his audience. We already knew what he wanted, and we let him have as much. He Who's that? Every message we intended to convey. It's only proper you meet him in person, as the one who crafted those puzzles. Such intricate puzzles. I guess only Rover has the patience to solve them all. No detail is too small. I'm sure he understands. Besides, not seeing the opponent heightens the thrill of the game. If everything goes according to the prophecies of Jue, I will meet him in person eventually. So, what did our captive from the Fraxidus tell you about Jue? That Jue had predicted I will have to fight it one day. A fight that will shape Jinjo's future. Well, that is... unexpected. But you don't seem all that surprised, do you? Can't say I am. I had suspected as much from our previous conversations, and the message it left me... His words only confirmed it. Where was it when you last sensed its presence? It was... in Mount Firmament. Unlike Jinjo City, that mountain is still resting in stillness. The place where the first people of Jinjo lived. And where Jue first manifested before us humans. I see. I'll find Jue, and bring it back as soon as possible. Our enemies could have planned it as a trap. We have a bigger goal to focus on, remember? I understand. I will not let anything or anyone disrupt the peace in Jinjo. Would you let what you heard from Scar sway your determination? No. He cannot ever turn me against Chue. If anything, his words only confirmed my theory. I am the Magistrate of Jinjo, appointed by the Sentinel itself. The prophecy speaks of a decisive incident for Jinjo's future, where I will be a key player. The fight between me and Jue is only a precursor. My job remains unchanged. I will fulfill my duty as Jinjo's magistrate with my own judgment. Is that your final answer? A single strand's neglect births mountainous upheaval. You taught me that, remember? The safest option is for me to go in person. Very well. Since we are already mid-game, I will let you decide our next move. This time, I shall be a pawn in your hand. Remember, I will always stand by your side.
in this crisis or any other. Am I a player or a mere pawn? I suppose there is no difference at this point. No matter what, I will do what I must. Oh, that's done. Then these talks are getting pretty good. Mm, gameplays via a guidebook? And... Weekly challenges? Oh, okay, for the Toto. Hey look, new character, day 5! Oh, your eyes? And a sword user! Hmm, maybe I should use it instead of the other one I have. Your sword user, obviously. Uh, but I don't have... Ooh, you know, I'll go switch this one. Cause you don't need it! I don't use it anymore. Sorry, woman. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sorry, you know.